Well, uh, first of all, uh, we have to understand that they're unlikely to speak English uh, unless they've been studying us for a long time. Uh, and that uh, uh, it's hard enough to communicate properly between different people on, on this planet, uh, or, or part of the same species. The, the cultural gulfs and misunderstandings are, of course, notorious. We're now dealing with a completely separate species. Uh, then you have to think, what on earth have we got in common? Uh, so I feel that our communication would be, uh, we would want to uh, let ET know our finest achievements. Uh, the things we're most proud of. And if you just uh, go out on the street and ask people, well, what do you think are our finest achievements? Chances are that you'll be told a Beethoven symphony or uh, you know, Picasso uh, painting or something like that. Uh, and I have no quarrel with that, but the problem is that our appreciation of works of art and, and music are very much tied to our cognitive system. And uh, an alien whose brain is wired differently uh, uh, probably wouldn't have any understanding of it. And said it wouldn't have any understanding of politics or sport or anything of that sort. Uh, so there'd be no point in sending those things. Now there's one thing we're all agreed that we must share, and that is mathematics. Mathematics is universal. It's, uh, it's discovered by human beings, but the rules of mathematics are the same throughout the universe. And the laws of the universe are mathematical relationships. So the underlying laws of physics we can cast in mathematical form. So if they are communicating with us, if they have technology, they will understand the laws of physics and the nature of mathematics. These are things that we can share. So it seems to me that our communication will begin uh, in terms of mathematics and physics. So me, uh, I'm a mathematical physicist, so uh, you might say, well, you would say that, uh, wouldn't you? But I really do think that this is um, the common currency of the cosmos. And so we will want to communicate about our understanding of mathematical physics. So we could tell them things that we have discovered in the realm of mathematical physics, but there's stuff that I would like to know. There are some famous problems, like how to uh, bring gravitation and quantum physics together, uh, the long sought after th theory of quantum gravity, that's one thing uh, that I would like to know. Uh, it may be hard to understand the answer that comes back. Uh, there's something that's perhaps a little easier. Uh, there's a quantity in uh, the theory of quantum electrodynamics called the fine structure constant, so I'm getting technical here. It's a particular quantity. It's a a fundamental constant of nature has a value of about 1 over 137. Nobody knows why that number is as it is. It's a pure number. It doesn't matter what units you use. Uh, and uh, it's, it's long been uh, an interest of mine as to how that number has arisen in nature, why uh, that particular number and, and none other. So I would like E.T. to give me the explanation for that. Of course, the answer might be, we don't know either. <laughs> it's not clear that E.T. would be all-knowing.